Hey everybody, I have a share. This is a Sizzix die um, that I used to create this little mini album for Valentine's Day. It's been laying on my desk for about a year now. I was inspired by a video by Live Love Scrap, and I think her name is Bona here on YouTube. Um, anyway, I couldn't find the Sizzix die anywhere, so I went online and checked and I found it um, in England somewhere. So I purchased it online and um, I mounted my papers on cardstock um, and then I punched it using my Sizzix die. And the paper line I used is uh, Crafty Secrets and it's called. Um, Oh, let's see. Heartwarming Vintage Collection. You can see right there. Anyway, these are a, a different size, and I'm really not sure. I don't think this is the A4 size. Um, but there's some really pa pretty paper in here. I don't know if you've seen it before. I don't even know if I can show it to you because of the odd size of the book. Let me try this way. I don't know double-sided paper but um, it's kind of a vintagey shabby chic feeling to it I've had it for quite a while so you, I'm sure you can still find it out there anyway this is um, sorry about my tripod this is the Sizzix die and um, I've just embellished with some um, seam binding here I tied the little key on I've used uh, half back pearl or flat back pearl trim there and these are the new uh, roses from Michaels that are out right now they match this paper perfectly and this is a prima flower um, that I purchased and it's from the uh, fairy bell collection I believe so it matched pretty well um, this is just a piece of lace that I cut up here and and um, hot glued to it I've inked all my edges on this uh, mini. I like to do that because I think it adds uh, some richness to the album. So I've inked all the edges and I do have a little tip here I'd like to share with you. Um, when you tie your ribbons, if you want this French uh, cut end on it, all you have to do is fold it in half and I saved this so I could show you and then you just cut down like that and it makes a perfect little um, V shape in your tail so if you don't know about that that's just a quick tip I had for you today okay so on the inside all I did was um, like I said I've I've inked all my edges and I did use my uh, Sizzix punch um, it's the scalloped heart stack and um, I used some linen cardstock and inked the edges, like I said. These are all those little um, Prima flowers. So this is pretty much um, not really embellished all that much because you don't have a whole lot of room and I wanted her to be able to put pictures of her kids in here. So these are just, you know, it's basic cut and glue. This is, um, this is from that. I had some leftover from the last project I did um, and this is from Joanne Fabrics, the, um, oh, it's that butterfly collection that everybody likes. Huh, can't think. Um, Mariposa. And then I just, um, personalized the back of it and said, um, created with love from mom just for you February 14th 2013 and um, I had punched this little butterfly for another project and I didn't allow enough room on this side for the wing and it didn't punch correctly so I just cut it off and made it like he's half he's just sitting on my words there so you can you know repurpose things if you mess up um, I do it all the time uh, I don't like to throw things away. I like to use all my little scraps and this is also a great scrap uh, Project if you know if you have little scraps laying around this would be perfect for it because the um, The die is not that large So anyway, that's my share and uh, I just wanted to get this out before Valentine's Day and uh, I'm glad to to uh, finish it up and get it off my work table. 
So I thank you for stopping by and I really appreciate your positive comments and I appreciate all the subbies. So thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.